Disclaimer! Warning! I do not have a Patreon, Discord Premium, or any pay service where you are asked to pay for reactions, or whatever. If I don't mention it in my videos, then I don't have one. These links you are clicking asking for money, you're getting scammed. What is up, Humanoid Nation? Today's video I'll be reacting to is by Video Game Donkey. It's uh, called Video Game Acting. Video Game Donkey is uh, fucking hilarious. So let's get with it. Let's see what he has. Hello, I am Mr. Beast Gaming, but really, I'm not. In reality, I am the YouTuber Video Game Donkey. This is the power of acting. When the video started, you actually thought I was Mr. Beast. This I don't know who Mr. Beast is, is actually. Magician. They are creating an illusion. When an actor is doing their job, you shouldn't even notice them. They should completely disappear into their role and convince you that this fictional character is actually a real person. In the what it's supposed to be, games, but then there's some video games that they don't even try. I really am eating. This morning I had some soup. Soup. What kind of soup? What's in it? Bread? It is really hard to get a convincing performance in a video game because it's such a collaborative process. You need good writers, good actors, and good animators all working in tandem at a consistently high level to get a good performance. Yeah. And then on top of that, you now have to graft that work onto a highly volatile program and pray to Shadow Jesus that it somehow remains intact. Now bear my arctic blast. You could give Daniel Day-Lewis that Octopath dialogue and you still aren't coming out the other side of that with a good performance. Your Excellency. I don't know, man. Daniel Day-Lewis can do a good performance. Your Excellency. Cloud's famous pizza line from Final Fantasy is actually pretty clever, but the way it's delivered makes it sound like Cloud is legitimately annoyed he isn't getting his pizza. Yeah. You owe me a pizza. There are so many opportunities for acting to go horribly wrong in a video game. And that's why it usually goes horribly, horribly wrong. Let's live together in a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes. Not even dry. But the way I look at it, terrible acting can often make a game more fun. It's like when a game ships... Like Resident Evil, whichever one that glitches. was. Yeah, they ruined the game, but the game was gonna suck ass anyway, so at least now you can laugh at it. That's Eggman! I wonder what happened to Sonic? Really what I'm looking for are the two extremes. If I'm looking for the absolute worst shit ever made, or the top of the line best stuff of all time. This and this is where the true entertainment resides. Everything in the middle is just kind of boring. A vagina. I let you live. I'm sorry. Please. For a cartoon character like Gex, you want the actor to bring a level of energy and vitality to the role. And this is just one of the 40,000 rooms in Aaron Spelling's house. But did you know that in the European version of Gex, they got a different guy to be Gex? It sounds weird. It's it's like... It's like Saturday morning at Timothy Leary's house. Damn, dude. Oh, great toast. You wanted to talk like this, Jingo. Get in the boat, boy. This way, boy. This Slow way, down, boy. boy. Stay back, boy. For Dynasty Warriors 3, they embraced a whole new method of acting. Feel the power of my magic! Great line read. Great line read. Whether you're making a movie about talking cars, talking bugs, talking toys, or talking fish, we, the audience, still expect them to talk and act like human beings. There is something in our DNA that makes us root for each other. When we see another human being in distress, we instinctively want to help them or see yeah. them overcome the situation. Mind your step. I got like it. The Avengers and all that. Oh, hello. Ah! Damn it, Joel, you asshole. <laughs> I just want another Last of Us game. With you? Is you that all? See your face, yeah, right? I just want another one of these. Now you're not gonna drown. Likewise, we get much more emotionally invested in stories where the characters act like people, which is why everyone will get into a gigantic argument over Last of Us 2, and nobody gives a rat's ass about the storyline for Assassin's Creed 50 where every character acts like a robot. What is Wiz's face? My mother! Oh no! What can we do? Something is wrong! 
You never want something to is robot. wrong. Even when your character is a robot, you got to give the audience something to latch onto. There are so many games where that voice actor is just blatantly reading lines off of a piece of paper. Here we go. Let's fight our way into their war base. Oh, the, the uh, goddamn dude. I feel its power. I can feel you. I can feel you. Terrible. Not really. Its power is dark. Remember when they straight up removed Peter Dinklage from Destiny because he sounded like he was about to fall asleep for the entire video game? That wizard came from the moon. Then you got Japanese games. Animes are always getting mad at me for playing anime games with the English dub. But how about this? If you're gonna do an English dub, don't have it suck complete ass. It's unthinkable to act against the Empire! Having a terrible English dub is like having a feature at the main menu where you select between normal mode and funny mode. And this dude is actually expecting me not to pick funny mode. I live in a place called Yokosuka. Yokosuka? That's where my little brother works. Metal Gear God Sound, damn, dude, Sonic, that's Mario, just Final horrible. Fantasy, Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Americans have been playing goofy ass localized dubs for decades, and now you're acting like we're too good for them? Even though that's an American game? <laughs> You cringing idiot. While we're talking about Ghost of Tsushima, look at this bullshit. Look at how the camera zooms way out so you can't see their stupid automated face animations. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with is it? everything. You're, you don't Noir look tired. The big breakthrough in face animation. Oh, L.A. Noir, amazing. The technology powering this game was very impractical, but the results speak for themselves because they're a face. You know, <laughs> Damn, I love L.A. Really Noir. really thought that hobo done did the pick. Video games use all different methods of capturing performances. Oblivion is infamous for having its voice actors read lines of dialogue off of a list in alphabetical order. We heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound. It looks, looks like she's reading off the same night. Her eyes are moving. It looks like she's reading it too. I heard the thieves broke into the arcane universe. As a voice actor, you're very prohibited. But once you introduce face capture, it's like you've opened a portal to a whole new dimension of acting. Think of all the mystery and nuance and expression that the human face can convey. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Interesting. Anything else? Yeah, lying, dirty bastard. You're awfully lying, you son of a bitch. Any, just, just, God damn it, dude. God, I hated this character in that game. Just bitch. look at him. Sometimes you have nothing to play off of. Other times, with these big budget games, you're on a mocap set with other actors and you can actually develop a realistic rhythm of conversation. But there's got to be something. Well, the gods see us <laughs> making for that cross. But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. Acting in video games has come a long way, and there's still so much more to say. But I'm Keith Richards. This oh yeah, he's in a lot of video games. I forget. His voice is and amazing. Is NBA 2K15. God damn it. You're right. I missed it. What do you say? Is, but I'm gonna close this video out on one of the absolute pinnacles of acting, and that is NBA 2K15. Oh god damn it. No. You're right. I He's right. For this scene, the key word this is game, I swear to God. Try to notice how you become just as excited as the players are on screen. We got too Easy much talent, ass. and we work too hard to be playing like this. Where is my right. goddamn check? We all have the attitude. The train will be rolling in no time. Let's do it. Can you put yeah. a little emphasis yeah. on that? Yeah. Bring up Death Stranding now. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. Very fake and bad acting. Now put basketball back on. Who had thought about what? That a young buck like you could actually do the right it thing. Good, the right good, good, good. So All I hear is mama the game. Back. Now the key word here is anger. Ah! You need that rage in you. This is like that times a hundred. Yo, what's going on tonight? I'm running free all over the court and you didn't give me the ball. Oh my God. Listen oh my God. Rage, that hatred. Boy, get out of my face with that, man. At least I this guy's trying. For the good of this team. And I don't that need no second guessing me. You ain't my coach, punk. Whoa. That's the kind of stuff this I'm talking about. Get over yourself, man. Yo, man. Where's my check, dog? I gotta go get some bitches. I think I have a son somewhere. I don't know. Where's my son at? Am I getting paid yet? Oh no, I, I gotta read a little bit more lines? Uh, yeah, uh, don't be a bitch. That's all I gotta say, uh, yeah. 
I'm starting to sound like, God damn it, sorry about that. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, all I gotta say is I'm sounding like more like a uh, Rambo here with uh, more of a fucked up accent, if that's even possible. Ugh. So anyways, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Uh, bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suave,